Hello and welcome everybody to the Cosplay Kid. So in today's video, I'm going to be making um, a Tuscan Raiders, or you can kind of say Luke Skywalker's boots. So I've already made the mask. It's currently drying, so I can't kind of. But if you go on my Instagram, you can see the mask, um, the Cosplay Kit. Uh, so on Instagram, but it's kind of drying. But I made that off camera, unfortunately. Um, but I'm making the boots. I thought I'd do it on camera. I've already kind of made one. Um, but I haven't quite finished it yet, but I'm just going to film me making the other boot, just so you guys can do it at home. So basically, one thing I didn't film about this, is I've ordered these, like, cloth bags, and they finally came. And all I've done is I've literally just teared them apart, so they've got this, like, teared effect. And they're just in long strips. Now, people can argue with me saying that it's just one big long strip, strip but I just prefer to use loads of little ones. And I've started... As you can see, dyeing them, and how I'm doing that is just coffee and hot chocolate, <laughs> uh, a mocha, uh, just pour in with water and kind of just stir about in there, and it gives it a cool effect and makes it look old like that. But that's how that's after it's been dyed. This is before it's been dyed. So there's quite a big effect, and you can see that. But I'm just going to time lapse me doing it now. So yeah. Boots I have used are actually um, girls. I don't know. I don't know if they're girls. I think they're unisex. But um, oh, there they are, my cat. Um, but basically, they're just brown kind of boots that don't fit my sister anymore because she used to wear them. And so they're either probably going to be like chucked out or something, or given to a charity shop. So um, I fit them. And then I'm going to make this out of that, so it looks cool. And last time I did this with the boots, my hands stunk of coffee, and I just said I wasn't going to dip my hand in, hand in it, but guess what? I've done it already. Oh. Great. But got, I've kind of got a pile. Still got another pile to go. I would just dunk them all in at the time, but perhaps it will still kind of be white. So I'm going to put probably three in at the same time. I've done a couple of, like, half of the side of these just so i can get around places i'm now putting two in at once because there will be some white patches come on now they're all kind of plonked on there um so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to put them on the radiator because i'm impatient and so they dry faster but you could use a hair dryer but i tried that last time it took ages this is probably just quicker and total so i'm just gonna hang these one by one on the radiator and they should be ready in probably 20 30 minutes just gotta wait and then i can start gluing them onto the boot okay so it is drying right now um and i just put them on there and i have turned the heating up to about 23 that'll focus so hopefully that should be done in about 20 to half an hour. 20 to 30 minutes basically. But there's quite a few strips. I did two bags. I'll show you the bags actually. Um, so I'm kind of just walking through the house. But they're boots here. These are the bags. I got them um, online. But the ones I did for the mask, I actually bought them in the actual store. But they're from... Uh, called um probably corrupt um so yeah but i've got two bags left so if i need any more i'll just have to do it so basically they come with handles and you have to cut it down the side and then put the other one down the side so it opens up and then you have to cut the handles off you can use the handles but they are a bit thin so i just decided not to um shout out to my nan who i didn't realize i had these in my bag and they went over there so Sorry, now I'll give them back to you next time. <laughs> so the this is the boot that I have started. As you can see, I haven't quite finished, but that's what I've started, and it's come off that there. Um, but so I might have to put a few more in this one, but I won't film that. But as you can see, the boots inside are like fluffy, so they're really comfortable. Um, this was like folded out, so it had a little bit of fluff, but I just folded it. 
kind of inwards so it makes it taller and it works quite well um basically just wrapping it around except from that front bit there and like around here um but it is actually been wrapped around it's not like fake to make it look wrapped it is actually wrapped <laughs> Um, not with one though, it's been like loads of little ones. But you could make one long one if you had the time, but I didn't really want to do that, so I did just did that. Um, but here is the original boot. They do fit me quite well. Um, I have, for my age, I am short, but my feet are, I think, about average for my age. Um, I've got about size. Six and a half, <coughs> or seven, something like that. But I'll show you when they're on. Anyway, here are the shoes on. They do kind of look weird when the wraps are not on, but when the wraps are on, they kind of look okay. Quite comfortable. You can maneuver around in them. I made it so it's not just straight, and you can't maneuver around in them. I made it so you can really kind of. Around. But this is my cosplay, my first cosplay to 2019. Um, but it's a shame I didn't film me making the mask, and I might not film me making quite a few things. But if I have enough strips left, I'm gonna make the gloves because I did buy some gloves. Um, so I can make them. Actually, I'm gonna go and dye the gloves. Okay, uh, so here, yeah, but I'm gonna do the gloves off camera because it's the same process just dyeing the gloves and getting strips. So, yeah. I thought I might as well just show you what the gloves look like before. I don't know if I'm going to put like wraps up the thing because they're going to have to be longer. I might just do one big strip, but I might just leave them like that. But I've put one in the coffee and stuff. And so, yeah, as you can see, that's what it looks like. So I'm about to put this other one in. As you can see, the difference of the colour when you dice up in coffee and hot chocolate. You could use tea as well. It's just what I had. As you can see, um, we didn't actually use that one, that's the one I have we used. Uh, Costa, no not Costa, <laughs> Costa, why have I got Costa? We used Cadbury's hot chocolate. Um, so, yeah. Right, so, um, I'm about to start like this. This is what I mean, it was like that. Um, so it was shorter, but I just kind of pulled this up and folded it around to make it the right length, like that. But I'm just gonna kind of I'm gonna use hot glue. I'm just gonna finish this off. I'm not gonna film that, but I managed to get pretty much the right colour as you can see. Um I'm just gonna finish this up and then I'm gonna do a time lapse of me doing this boot. One thing I'm gonna say is when you do it, first step to start off with is this bit. So you can't wrap around there. So what I did is I just got a little strip. This is why I got a few little strips and kind of just went over like that and then glued it on and then started wrapping them around. And then for here, you can kind of see what I'm going to do. So just wrap it around any old way or two just to make it look <coughs> fully covered. But yeah. Okay, so I've still got to do that boot. But this is the end result of this boot. I think it looks pretty good. Um, so as you can see all the way around. Slightly different colours there, but I think that actually looks quite cool. Because I tried to use like the whiter bits out of them, so that would all go well. Um, but I kind of think it looks quite good actually. And you can see a little bit of stitching there that's trying to be. People have tried to. Not people. Uh, Tuscan Raiders have tried to sew up or loop or whoever you're doing. Um, but yeah, so now I've got to do that one, and now I'm going to do a time match on me doing it. You will need a lot of glue sticks, so that's why I've got all of these. Um, and I glued on. Um, be careful, caution. Uh, the radiator that I used earlier, that will be hot, so be careful of that. <coughs> and be careful of the glue gun. Um, but now I'm going to time lapse for me doing the other one.
So sorry I didn't film me doing the rest of it, but I have finished it. It doesn't really stand up. But here, here they are. I think they look really cool. And one's a slightly different tone to the other of colour or shade um, because I dyed them both at different times. But the upper one kind of looks alright. But in a minute I'll show you a picture or a video of me wearing them. So, yeah. Don't forget to like, subscribe. These are how the end results turned out. They're pretty nice. They are actually really comfy, comfortable. I don't mind wearing them at a Comic Con or something all day. They are very comfortable. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.